Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be making a globoidal cam. Let's start. And first of all, we need a two helpline uh, as a construction geometry. This is 125 mm. Let's start. Basically, our profile is going to be like this 60 degree difference is 3, this is 60, and this is going to be 86. This point going to be on a 156.5 and here we have a 95 diameter circle and we are cutting the right click select chain mirror entities and basically mirror on the other side this is going to be revolved now we are going to create our paths with split lines and a basic line in the middle again a construction geometry here basically mirror for the 7.5 we make a split line and we are going to be looking from top and a spline corner to corner, edge to edge in fact and we are a little bit changing direction of our splines tangent and tangent and the value of our tangency 150 uh, and we again make a split line on the surface yes now uh, on top plane we are going to create our pads and 125 millimeter bow This is our point thirty. This is three point eight. But we created here a turn. Uh, sorry. here at the end and we are going to make this a mirror another help helpline for sweep operation on the right plane uh, we are going to create 125 millimeter radius uh, uh, at a total 250 and with a construction geometry for easy trim I create some things uh, oh by the way it is in the reverse area we are going to make mirror if you and click the copy uh, your line will be at the other side 
Yeah, it can be undefined, but not problem. Now, uh, let's start then on top plane for the first uh, for the first line. I am choosing by selection manager only one, and this is our uh, guide uh, way. This is our guide, and probably we should change in options follow path and the first guide way option. I think there is a problem with our sketches. Let's fix them. This is 250 and unnecessary part wasn't done. And I will instead of making selection manager going to try by each uh, line in the separated sketches. And this is line and this is guide curve. and follow pad and the first guide yeah now it is working uh, for the second one again same way this we are hiding unnecessary one uh, swap surface And our guide hidden here. We take it back again and the guide curves. This one is guide curve. And exactly what I realize now one of my sketches reverse. This should be the other side. Um, making it the other side and in the top surface creating one independent sketch yes swap and our profile line and guide curve and options Exactly. We are now done, except our rotors. Yeah. Last operation. We are going to make a revolve and connect our surfaces. And revolve. I want to make half because everything in our sketch and uh, in our uh, lines uh, pads was half. By the way, this was unnecessary. Yeah. And now we are going to make a surface. We are knitting every surface. Where are they? Yeah, here. I give them a color to make sure what we are doing. Mm. This was a necessary one, and yeah, now uh, the thick and cut comment we are going to use. From in the middle, we basically created uh, in the middle of the our uh, surfaces for to both sides the uh, thickness, and by this way we easily cut the model. As you see, 